Please go to elithecomputerguy.com in order to view schematics, code, and more for the projects that you are learning about. Welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add an I2C LCD screen to your Arduino project. So in the past, we've used normal LCD screens, um, and these work well, but the problem is, is that they're a little bit complex to add to your Arduino project. You have a lot of pins connect to connect to your Arduino board. You have to use resistors. You have to use a potentiometer. There's a whole lot that goes into using a normal LCD screen. And the cool part about using an I2C screen is you simply have four wires to connect. You have the five volt for power. You have the ground. You have two communication wires, and essentially that that is it. You don't have this whole mess of wiring to make one of these I2C screens work. And so that's why uh, it makes life a lot easier to use these types of screens. So with that, let's go over to the workbench so I can show you how to connect one of these uh, to an Arduino board. Then I'll go and I'll show you the sketch and the code to make one of these things work. And then I will bring it all together for you. So this is our I2C display connected to the Arduino. So with this, we have a 20 by four LCD screen with the I2C controller board on the back. And we simply have this connected to a standard Arduino Uno board. Now for comparison's sake, uh, this is a 16 by two LCD screen. And as you can see, if I flip it over, you can see these are all the pins that normally have to be connected to your Arduino project. So if you take a look at the 20 by four screen, what you'll notice is it has basically the same pinout as the 16 by 2 uh, display, but those pins are soldered onto this I2C controller board, and so this I2C controller board then controls the communications with the pins. Um, beyond that, when you take a look at the back, this is a little potentiometer here. This is used for the contrast, so if you can't see things on the screen, uh, screw that one way or the other, and that may help with the contrast. But basically, this is what you've got when you're dealing with an I2C screen. So when you take a look at it, we have the markings on the back. So you have ground. Uh, so one wire goes to ground on your Arduino. You have the VCC. Another wire goes to your 5 volt on the Arduino. Then you have SDA. So SDA then goes to the A4 port. And then you have SCL that goes to the A5 port. So for this project that I'm going to show you, we're not actually defining uh, the, uh, the analog ports within the sketch itself. So make sure that you connect the SDA and the SCL to the correct ports. Don't put them willy-nilly on one of these analog ports and then think that you're going to change it later. Make sure put SDA right now, put that to A4 and put SCL to A5. And that's what's really nice, literally all that's required in order to make this screen work on an Arduino. So with that, let's go over to the computer and I can show you how to write the sketch in order to do a, ba a basic hello world sketch for this. So here we have the sketch for this particular project. Now the first thing that you're going to see is that we are including two libraries. Now one of the important things with these two libraries, the lcd.h and the liquid crystal underscore i2c, is that these libraries do not come with Arduino by default. You actually have to download and install them. So if you go over, uh, there's the liquid crystal i2c library. So you can come here and you can download the library from here. And then you have the uh, the new liquid crystal library here. If you go down to download and installation or here you can find the little repository and you can download the library from here. So you will need these two libraries in order to make this project work. Uh, in order to actually install the libraries, once you've downloaded them, you can go to sketch include library and you go go add dot zip library from here you go to wherever your the zip file is uh, you go and then you're able to select the library and if you say hit choose it will then install it into your Arduino IDE now it is important to understand that it has to be a zip uh, file it cannot be a normal folder uh, so if you don't have the the folder zip for some reason, you will simply have to uh, compress it and put it into a zip format. Um, once it's been installed, if we go up to sketch, we go to include library, we should be able to go down here. We can see contributed libraries. So these are the additional libraries. And so we can see the liquid crystal underscore I2C library here and the new liquid crystal underscore lib here. So we have to make sure those two are installed or this project will not work. Uh, so we add those libraries, we include those libraries, then we're going 
did that go down? And we're actually going to create the LCD screen so that the Arduino knows how to communicate with this uh, device. And so we're going to use liquid crystal underscore I2C, and then we are going to name this LCD. So simply LCD, whatever you want to call it, you call it that. So we're calling this LCD, and then we are going to refer to it down here in the rest of the code using LCD. Now for the rest of this, between the parentheses, uh, most of this we are not going to mess with or worry about, at least at this point. But the one thing that there may be a quirk with is this. This is the hexadecimal address for this I2C display. So it's important to understand that I2C is an addressable communication protocol. What that means is multiple devices can be on the same wires. Um, but then the Arduino can communicate with the different devices by communicating with a specific address. So kind of think of it like an IP address. So computers on a network, they all have an IP address. And so you communicate with a server by going to a specific IP address. Well, kind of think of it the same way, only they use hexadecimal addresses. So with I2C, um, as I understand it, using a seven, seven bit hex address, you can put up to 112 devices basically on the same wire. And so uh, you need to know what address address your device is in order to communicate with it. So just like if you don't know what an IP address is for a network device, you're not going to be able to connect to it. If you don't know what the hexadecimal address is for an I2C device, you're not going to be able to connect with it. The nice part is, is 0x27 should be the default I2C address for the device that you'll be connecting to your Arduino. So if you buy a new uh, LCD screen, you plug it into an Arduino uh, board and you don't have any other I2C devices, 0x27 X27 should work for you. If it doesn't work for you, if you have, or if you have multiple I2C devices, uh, you can do a Google search for sketches that will show you what I2C devices are connected to your Arduino. So basically, you're, you go, you download an example sketch, you upload it to your Arduino board, and then when you run it, you go to the serial monitor, and then it will show you the addresses of the I2C devices. Um, that are connected to your Arduino. Kind of think of it again in the IP world as some kind of like network mapping software, same type of thing. And so if you run one of those sketches, it will show what I2C devices are connected to your Arduino, and then you'll be able to find the address, use that address and plug it in here. So hopefully, hopefully for you, 0x27 will work. If not, it's a little bit more complicated. Just, uh, just realize you'll have to run a sketch in order to find the addresses for the different I2C devices that are connected to your Arduino. So then past that, we're going to go down and we're going to go into the setup. You will notice for this particular project, we are not bothering with the loop. We are just gonna set everything up setting up the environment, and then we are going to print everything out once to the screen. So the first thing that we need to do here is we actually need to begin the LCD screen. So LCD.begin, and then we need to say what kind of LCD screen it is. So is it a 16 by two, is it a 20 by four, so on and so forth. So the 20 or 16, that's how many characters across. So we have a 20 character across by four row uh, screen. So we have 20 comma four. So if you had 16 by two, you'd put 16 two. And that's, that's all you do, that's all you do to plug in. Uh, then the next thing we do is we're going to say whether or not we want the backlight turned on. So this LCD screen has a backlight, do you want it on? If so, essentially you copy and paste this, LCD uh, period, set backlight pin to three positive, and then LCD set backlight to high. So basically what this code does right here is it turns the backlight on. If you don't want the backlight on, you can simply remove this code. Um, then the next thing that we're going to do, again, just like when we're dealing with LCD screens in the past, we have to set uh, where the cursor is going to be. So basically we have to say this is where we want the cursor to be, and then we want to print out whatever we're printing out past this cursor. And remember, whenever we're dealing with LCD screens, one is zero. So the first position is actually zero. So you run into this a lot in the computer world where the first position is zero, the second position is one, the third position is two, so on and so forth. It gets a little confusing to the head. Just, just remember that a lot of things start with zero, they don't start with one. So for this, what we're going to say is we're going to say the first row, the, the first column of the first row. Uh, so this here, this is the column, so this is the character, right? So the character across, and then this here is the row. So we're gonna say in the first position of the first row, we want to then lcd.print 
hello world. So we're gonna set the cursor all the way up in the upper left hand corner, zero, zero. And from there, we're going to print hello world. Then we're going to LCD dot set cursor to zero. So the first, the first column, the first character of the second row, one is the second row, and then we're gonna do lcd.print, this is, so this will be printed out on the second row. Then we're going to do lcd.setCursor to the first position zero of the third row, and then we're going to lcd.print and i2c display. Then just to, just to shake it up a little bit here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to lcd.setCursor, and then we're doing four. So this is the fifth position. So it starts at zero. So zero, one, two, three, four. So this is at the fifth position across. So fifth position across on the fourth row. So basically, basically what I'm doing is I'm centering this. We're going to do lcd.print, kind of cool, period, period, period. And then we're going to end the loop. And so this is going to print all of this out to the screen. Um, and, and so we can actually see something on our screen. So let me upload this code and power it on and I will show you how it works. So this is what the project looks like when we're finished. So we have hello world, this is colon, and I2C display, and then we've kind of centered the kind of cool, right? So hello world, so we have this at the zero, zero position. So the first column of the first row is zero, zero. Then this is, this is at the zero, one position. So the first column of the second row, then we have an I2C display, so this is zero, 02, so that means the first column of the third row, and then we come down here to the kind of cool, and so I put the kind of cool in the middle, and how we do that is we start this, again, at the fifth position, so that's actually four, so the fifth position is actually four because we start at zero on the fourth row, so we'll put it at three, and we put the kind of cool there. So that's that's what we're looking at with this. And so basically this simply gives you an idea of how to use one of these I2C LCD displays and it shows you how easy it is. I mean, just the ability to connect using four wires compared to what's required on a normal LCD screen this, this is just a beautiful thing. And it really is pretty, pretty simple to set up as long as you're able to download the libraries. So there you go. That's all there is to connecting an I2C LCD display to your Arduino project and writing some code. Oops, <laughs> writing some code in order to be able to write out to it. Now, one of the things that I will tell you is not only is it a hell of a lot easier to actually use an LT L2C display for your project, but it's also easier to find and buy uh, I2C displays. So I was kind of surprised when I went out there originally and I bought a lot of components for my Arduino projects. All the LCDC displays that, that I saw and could buy at the time were all these older types that have all of the, uh, the connectors that you actually have to connect to your Arduino board. But then as I've been doing this series of videos and I've been trying to figure out which displays to actually show you how to use and which ones to buy for the projects, one of the things that I've noticed is it seems like everybody's gone over to the whole I2C uh, configuration um, anyway. So it's one of those where one, I2C is a hell of a lot easier to use, and two, I2C is a hell of a lot easier to find. So it is good to understand how to use uh, the standard LCD display on an Arduino project, but if you're gonna go out there and be building your own Arduino project with displays, it is most likely not only gonna be easier for you to set up an I2C display, but when you go to buy them, it's probably gonna be a lot easier to actually find them with the I2C controller already built into it. So it's kind of one of those. One, it's just easier to do, and two, you're probably gonna have to use it anyway, so you might as well figure out how to use an I2C display. So anyways, that's really all there is to these particular displays. Again, using LCD displays for your Arduino projects uh, can be a very useful thing, not only for the simple things of showing you where the temperature is and that type of deal, but again, when you go in to start building little uh, projects to do things like network testing, to be able to have your Arduino project be able to give you a lot of information on one screen, 
brain will be very valuable for you. So as always, I enjoy doing this video and look forward to seeing you at the next one.